Jeffrey Click and his family are preparing for snow season, trying on snow boots for their trip to Tahoe at the sports basement in Walnut Creek. It's really exciting. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, teach these guys a little bit about the uh, snow and culture and mountains and getting outdoors a little bit more. So we're really excited to get started. Click grew up snowboarding in Switzerland. <laughs> but this will be the first time his two young kids go skiing. What are you most excited about? Um, going down the hills. And it's the first time Click returns to the snow since the pandemic. Just rebounding from the pandemic is likely to draw huge crowds to Tahoe this season, says Kevin Cooper, who monitors activity around the Tahoe area. I have a feeling that what we'll do is we're going to see pre-pandemic volume or visitor volume in the Lake Tahoe Basin now in the wintertime. So that'll be good for everybody in and around the region. Tahoe is already kicking off November with a solid snowfall. The National Weather Service predicts next week's storm could dump up to four feet at the higher elevations. Cooper says an early snowfall means resorts may even open early. Historically, Thanksgiving's really been the kickoff to the season. But after last year, if we can open up just a few days early, that will be absolutely fantastic for skiers and riders. It will also be great for the region, which has been struggling with losses from the pandemic. Last winter, resorts played it safe with the reservation system. But this year, Cooper says it's back to full operations. His hope for this snow season is consistency. It doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on. Climate is changing. And last year we saw it. It all came, all of our snow, at least 95% of it came in the two weeks of December. And then January, February, March, we didn't see snow again. We saw maybe centimeters. Cooper says if the region can average 100 inches of snow a month from now through March, it could be an incredible season. He says so far, they're off to a good start. Antanasen, ABC 7 News.